What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna be breaking down the night vision effect and dipping our toes into some spooky sauce. Okay, before anyone says it, I know I need a haircut. What's up guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be learning how to create a night vision effect for free. I'm sure you've seen those ghost caught on camera videos all around YouTube, so I figured why not do like a little mini series about those kind of videos. They can be fun to make and even more fun when people fall for them. Unless you didn't edit your video and in that case, I would, I would seek professional Ghost help. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, let's get into editing the video. Bravo 6, going dark. Time to edit. Okay, quick science time. The reason I filmed this shot with a flashlight professionally attached to my camera is because even though night vision goggles let you see in the dark, you still can't see in complete darkness. That's because the way that night vision cameras work is with infrared light. Now we can't see infrared light with our eyes, but it's still there. The way that night vision cameras can see in the dark is by detecting small amounts of infrared light bouncing around the environment. And the camera electronically amplifies these small traces of light into the camera to create an image. Even though this is like crazy wizard magic, most night vision cameras have a built-in infrared flashlight to help see in the dark. Keep in mind that this infrared light is not visible to human eyes, so we are still in the dark while the camera can see. So that is why you often see flashlights in night vision videos. Anyway, go ahead and bring your clip in and let's first make it into a composite shot. So the first thing we want to do is create a new layer and create a grade layer right here. Now with this grade layer, this is going to act like our filter on top of all of our footage so that way we're not directly affecting our regular base footage. The first thing we're going to do is come over to effects and type in blur and we're just going to take the regular blur and put it on top of this grade. And as you see, it makes it really blurry and we don't want it that blurry. So let's come down here to the controls and we're going to put it to about two radius. And so that way it's just slightly blurry. It's not completely in focus. The next thing is come back over and we're going to type in grain. Go ahead and take the grain, drop it on top. For the grain, you can add more or less if you want, but I think that the base 20 that it's already at is actually pretty good. Now we're going to go back and add another grain effect to this. And this time it's going to be a little bit different. So for the second grain, we're going to kind of layer it on top of the other one. And this one's going to be a bigger, chunkier one. So let's take the size and we're going to drag it all the way up until it's pretty big, maybe about three for the size. Then come to the amount and let's go ahead and put that at 30. You can do as big or as little as you want, but that's what I found looked good. And if we come over here and scrub through, it looks pretty good. It looks more fuzzy. The next step we're going to do is come back over to effects, find tint. Go ahead and drop that onto our grade. And then if we come down to tint, we're going to look at the map white to tab. Now we're going to click on the white and we're going to find ourselves a green in here, kind of like a ghostly looking green. Um, whichever green you want to use is fine. If you're going more cartoony, you probably want a brighter neon green, but we're going for more realistic. So we'll use like a ghost green. And that's going to basically remap all the whites in the scene to be that green color. So now it's only black and white technically, but our white is now a green color, which gives us this night vision effect. If you want to go like a darker green, you can. It's really up to you. Or change it to more of a neon color. But I found that this ghosty green down here usually looks more realistic. The next step we're going to do is come back over to the effects tab. And we're going to type in D-Res effect. Go ahead and drag that on top, and I know it looks terrible, but we're going to fix it. So scroll down to D-Res over here, 
We're gonna go to pixelation and we're gonna take the strength all the way to zero. And then we're gonna go to wavy lines now and take the strength all the way to zero. And by the way, you can totally use these other um, effects if you want, like a, like a lower quality type of video, like even more than we're talking, like if it's really, really found footage, <laughs> then you, maybe you want some of these. But for now, I'm gonna put them to zero. Now for the horizontal lines, we can change the strength to be stronger or weaker but basically what we want is we want these, if you look really close, there's these little lines in here that kind of make it look like it's on an old TV or something. That's the effect we're going for. If you want to adjust the horizontal lines to get any kind of different look, you can come down here to frequency. And basically the higher the frequency, the tinier the lines will be and the lower, the thicker they will be. And you can really use this effect to get any look you want. The next effect we're gonna do is come back over here and we're gonna type in vignette not how you spell vignette so the next thing we're gonna add on top of here is we're gonna come over here and type in vignette that's not big net no vignette vignette oh my gosh vignette okay go ahead and put the vignette on here take the vignette drop it onto your grade and now we're actually gonna take the vignette and put it on top of everything so that way all of this fuzziness and all of those horizontal lines are basically on top of it and not underneath then you can go down here and mess with the vignette settings. Where are they? Here it is. Then you can come over to the vignette settings and you can adjust it however you want to make it um, darker around the corners or less dark or whatever you want to do. For me, I think the 1920 by 1080 looks good, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, another step that's optional, and I didn't choose to do this, but you can if you want. We're going to go to the stutter effect. So what the stutter effect does is you can come over to freeze frames and let's just put in three, for example. And essentially what this is going to do is if you watch the video back, it's going to make it look like it's on an older security camera that doesn't shoot at a high frame rate so it gives it more of like a found footage look kind of older so you can use the stutter effect if you want to I didn't use it in my video but feel free it's a really good effect and then if you want to just add like a little more flair on top of that you can add some camera interface and you can actually do that yourself you don't have to look anything up you can just go ahead and add a text layer right here click text and then we can type in like recording and we'll come down to the text tab over here and we can change our font and adjust all of that and then adjust it and put it wherever you want it on the frame. Next thing we're going to do is come down to new layer, plain, then click on the color and we're just going to get a very bright red. The next thing we're going to do is come over here to the mask tool and slide down to ellipse mask, hold shift and then click and drag to make your circle. There we go. Perfect. So now what we can do once we have our mask up, you're going to come down to the mask, come down to transform. Once you turn on the opacity keyframes, you're going to go however long you want to go, but I'm going to do 23 seconds since that's almost one second. And then we will put another keyframe here toggle keyframe and then you click one more forward frame and you put it to zero now we're going to do the same thing go 23 frames to the next spot and then add another keyframe toggle keyframe right here and then go forward one and 100 and you just repeat this process and it creates a blinking light effect at the top of your screen like so now if you want to, the last thing you can do is take your plain layer, which is the dot, and take your text layer and drag them under the grade so they appear as if they're in the video. And once you finish all that, you should get a little something like this. Well guys, that's how you create a night vision effect for free. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and you can change your mind at any time. Also, if you did not enjoy the video, feel free to let me know why you didn't. Hopefully now you can do this effect all on your own and just remember that you don't have to follow everything that I do. You can put your own little twist on it and do whatever you want to do. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.